You have prayed to let thy kingdom come. Yes, yes, thy will be done. Yes, yes, Father, I am millions that are willing to stand with me for this truth. Father's Kingdom's played in over 25 film festivals around the country. And I don't think we've done a Q&A yet where somebody hasn't said, why have I never heard of Father Divine? And I said, well, that's why we made the movie. Father Divine was an evangelist in the early part of the last century. He made himself enormously wealthy, telling people he was God and getting them to give them their worldly possessions and any other wealth that they would come by throughout the time they were members of his organization, the Peace Mission Movement. Peace, everyone. Everybody happy? So am I. They couldn't drink, they couldn't use drugs, they had to work, they had to be self-sufficient, they couldn't use profanity, and they couldn't have sex. They weren't allowed to be with members of the opposite sex, which means they couldn't really continue their religion, which is why now there's not that many people left. The people here are 80 and 90 years old. All of those followers are not here today. The thought comes to my mind, what is the future of the peace mission? Father Divine had two marriages. The first Mother Divine, Penina, disappeared. Nobody will say what happened to her, although today they'll say they know where she's buried. Father Divine was in his 60s in 1948 when he married a 20-year-old white woman from Canada. Mother Divine, who passed away March 4th, 2018. This was a very bold step. A black person and a white person were not allowed to marry at the time. It was against the law. These are the things that added to his character. He's crossing racial lines. He lives like a king, and he did. And people would just say, he must be God. Father was decades in advance of the civil rights movement, and nobody knew who he was. I mean, he was for equal rights, not just between the races, but between the sexes. You know, women had high positions in his organization, and he claimed to have had millions of followers, but even if he had a fraction of that many followers, it would still be hundreds of thousands, not just nationally, but internationally. Many of the followers changed their names because they thought it would be more positive in Father's image. Many of them are called Happy Sunshine, Mary Peace, Miss Faith, and they think that that gives them more of an inner peace. My name is Meekness Faith. Now, that's a big job to handle the meekness of God and the faith of God. But I look to Father for my strength to be able to exercise those qualities. Father started growing when he started giving away food. And it started in New York and he would have enormous banquets where people would get in line to eat. To those of you that are daily attendants, you realize this is not uh, something out of the ordinary. This is a daily occurrence. And this was during the Depression. I guess he found that that was his way of expanding his organization, and it worked because it expanded significantly. He had homes all over the country, enormous ones, mansions, but he was based in New York, in Upper Manhattan. They were really sanctuaries for those who wanted to be sheltered in a real wholesome, quiet atmosphere. Men had to sleep on one floor and women on another floor, so you couldn't stay in the same room with your spouse, but that was Father's rule too. He had one follower that had a falling out with him and they wanted all their possessions back. And Father said no. And they sued him, but Father lost. If he was found in New York, they would arrest him and force him to pay this woman. So he moved his organization to Philadelphia and they were in Center City, Philadelphia for a good time. And then they bought Woodmont, which was an enormous 75 acres in Gladwin. They moved in in 1954, 1955, and they're still there. The followers are still there today. The Divine Lorraine was the first integrated hotel in a major city in the United States. It's spectacular. 
because they put a lot of money to bring it back. At that time, it was one of the nicest hotels in Philadelphia, and blacks were welcome. And there was also a restaurant at the top on the ballroom that, and downstairs. It's a very inexpensive food. And now it's come back and it's magnificent. Members of the Peace Mission will not say that Father Divine died because he's God and God can't die. But he left his body in 1965. And you can go visit Woodmont and you can go to the shrine and you'll see father and mother. They believe Father Divine was God. If you accept that premise, that people have the right to believe what they believe, how they believe, any way they want to, as long as they're not harming anyone, then you have to respect the people who are doing it. I didn't fully understand their conviction to believing that Father Divine was God, but I believed in their belief.